Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to um, create a collectible, so a little pickup. Um, I'm using kind of the generic coin type thing and just some real simple shapes that are inside of uh, Unreal Engine that we can use along with some of the stuff in the starter content uh, to be able to make this. And um, again, if you're just joining us for the first time, you don't know what's going on, you want to check it out, you can go to Putting on the Fritz uh, 3D Visualization, my YouTube channel right here, and uh, go check it out. Uh, subscribe if you like what you see. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at <clears throat> what I'm talking about. So right here again is the demo game. And I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to roll over here to one of these coins and we're going to do a pickup, okay? We're going to add sound to it, add a little particle that's available, okay? And make it so that uh, it rotates some real simple blueprints to make this happen and uh, we're going to end up uh, keeping track of these so that when we set up a wind volume so you can complete whatever level you're on that uh, will be something that uh, will either stop it your movement forward and set the reset the game and you have to go back through it again or um, if you have them all picked up you can go ahead and advance forward to the next level all right so let's go ahead and get that stopped get my head out of the way again and we have our game open here okay this was the last thing we did which was add that kill volume okay maybe not the best place to put it but it's a spot it's a spot all right so over here somewhere <clears throat> where we'll probably test out the coins i'll just move over there and just kind of stop for a second so what we want uh want to do again is uh we're going to need to Create another folder and let me see how I have my stuff set up here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into our content drawer, into our blueprints, okay? And then inside of our blueprints, um, I don't see where we have one yet. We're gonna have some more stuff that we're gonna add into here. So I'm gonna right click, create a new folder, and we're gonna call this one actors, okay? And then inside this folder, we're gonna create a new folder called pickups something like that and then we're going to go into that folder and we're going to right click we're going to create a blueprint class okay and this is again going to be another actor okay and we're going to call this one i'm going to since i'm making a coin demoing here i'm going to call this one coin but you can use the different shapes inside of unreal engine and use your imagination um i've seen diamonds and uh, cubes and other things used for pickups. So whatever you want to do, I'm just going to use a, a cylinder. We're going to crush it down and make it into a coin. All right. So with that made, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to open it up and up here in the, uh, yeah, up here in the top, what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and make a, add a sphere collision. Okay, and this is actually going to be kind of a round thing so that when we hit into the sphere, it will uh, detect our collision. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call it sphere collision so I know what it is. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a cylinder, okay? And it's really big right now, but we're gonna have to shape it down to what we want it to be. Okay, and I'm going to name this cylinder coin. Okay, all right, so with the sphere, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rotate it in the x axis 90 degrees. So now it's on its side, and I'm going to reduce this down to 0 0.55. 0 0.55. And you don't have to use those dimensions, you can use smaller, but I would recommend making sure that the X and the Y were the same. And then I'm gonna reduce the width of it down to 0 0.05, so the Z axis. And now what I've got is kind of a nice basic little coin shape. Okay. Um, for the uh, material, we can go to bridge, we can find something nice and shiny that looks great if you wanna do that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use 
I think it's in, you know what maybe that's what I did let's see here um I'm just gonna go ahead and use the metal gold that's a uh, part of the um, pack and it's kind of what we get it's not not super great in my demo one I did use the bridge because I had a little bit more time but I'm just gonna use what I have available try to save some time and you get the idea you know how to add materials and material instances so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time showing that okay so now we can go ahead and jump on over to the event graph because we got everything all set up the way we want it you know what actually there's one more thing we need to do right here the sphere collision I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna drag and drop it on top of the default scene route all right so we're gonna go to the event graph and right here the default one evac event actor begin overlap that's the one we're going to use so i'm going to pull it off to the side we're also going to end up using this event tick so don't uh, make sure you don't delete those okay and then um <clears throat> from here we're going to want to make sure that the event that is being overlapped with is our is our actor okay so we're going to right click and we're going to get player pawn Okay. This way we can do a check to make sure that indeed the one that overlapped with the coin or our pickup is our player, not some other player, just in case we have other things going on. We don't want the uh, coins or pickups to be dis to disappear. Okay, And we're going to do a check. We're going to make sure that the other actor, and in this case hit the shift button, or actually just the equals button, sorry, hit the equals button. We're going to want to make sure that the other actor is indeed our player actor and it's set to equal okay and we're setting up um, a true um, boolean here and the way we can verify that that is true or false is we're going to pull off of the output from the event actor begin overlap and we're going to type in branch okay and branch we can check for condition if this is true okay so if these things are happening and it is true then an event can happen. If it is false, then another event can happen. In this case, we're only going to be focusing on true. If it's false, nothing will happen. It'll just ignore nothing will happen. Okay, so we're going to pull out from here. And what we want to have happen is we're going to play sound. Okay, at location. Well, how do we know our location? Well, we got to go ahead and put it in there. So we're going to right click. We're going to get actor location. So it'll find where each individual coin is placed on the map. And when we go over it, that sound will play at that location. So we're going to plug that in there. And then the sound that we want um, in our default uh, pack. So if I go back to my content drawer here into my content, the starter content, we had quite a few things that were made available for a starter. One of them is some audio sounds. And you can go through there until you find something that you like. But for the um, video, let's see, I think I used VR, but I don't see that available here. Okay, so there's a lot more besides in the starter content. So you can go through the starter content and kind of find some of the ones you want. There are also um, some that are embedded inside of Unreal Engine as well that don't show up in the starter content. And uh, what I used was the VR Close Q. This one right here, VR Close Q, okay? And that's the sound that will play. That little bloop, uh, bleep bleep sound that you heard at the very beginning when I was demoing it. And we'll, we'll hear it again here in a minute. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, spawn that explosion. So remember in the video we had that little explosion? I'm going to pull out from here, and we're going to spawn emitter at location. Okay, and that location is going to be the same location that we already use for our player. Okay, and the template right here, the emitter template, is going to be this P explosion that's part of that particle pack that came as part of the 
uh, starter content. So I'm going to use this explosion. There's other stuff you can look through there. If there's something else you want to use and try, try it out. I'm going to use that one. It's going to auto destroy. We're going to leave that away alone. And it's going to auto activate system as well. We're going to uh, kind of have a little bit of a delay for all of this to happen. Okay. And I'm just going to use the default 0.2 uh, delay. We can always come back and change that if you want. We can even put a variable together if you want to adjust that variable um, for delay. And then at the very end of all this, we're going to destroy the actor. Okay. And that will be the coin. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and highlight all of that. Hit C on the keyboard for a comment. And we're going to call this, uh, oops, I lost it there. So up here, we'll just do this coin pickup. Okay, so that's the coin pickup blueprint. You can change any color you want it to be. All right, <clears throat> now you also saw that I was spinning the coin, and that was based off of an event tick. So an event tick is basically. Um, it's called every frame, okay, if this is enabled. So every frame, based on how fast your um, game is running, okay, and it can, based off of your processor, your game can run at different speeds. We could also set it so that we use the delta, uh, delta seconds to kind of standardize it, but because it's just a spinning coin, um, it's not really that big of a deal for it to be at a precise spinning rate on every single game, on every single system. So I'm not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna pull off of this event tick and we're gonna add, I think we can just type this in here, actor, add actor local rotation, okay? And now we are gonna make a variable down here. We're gonna hit plus on the variables we're going to call this spin rate. Okay. We're going to change it from a Boolean to a float. We need to compile it. <clears throat> and now that we compile it, we can go ahead and set our spin rate. Mine was kind of going at a nice leisurely rate. So of two rotations per second, I believe is what it was. I'm going to pull that out. We're going to get the variable and we're going to make a rotator. And the reason why we're making a rotator is because we're going to plug it into one uh, location. We don't want it to go into the X, okay? That would rotate it in the wrong side. We want to rotate it around the Z. So if we hold down the control button and we hover over the pin, we get a little hand. We can left click, drag, and drop it down here. If that's not working for you, you can hold the Alt button. You can remove that, and then you can connect it where you want, okay? And we're going to just go ahead and plug this whole thing in because we don't want it to spin on the X or Y, so we got zero rotation, but we will spin on the Z. Plug that into there. Um, yeah, and we didn't uh, do any of these uh, down arrow things here, so we're good. All right, so we're going to highlight this C for comment. Spin coin, and I don't know, make it uh, blue. Okay, all right. Compile it, save it. Now go back to our level, and little outliner. Go back to content drawer. Go into our content, into our blueprints, actors, pickups. And we can grab one and drop it out there. Pull it up above the ground a little bit, wherever you want it to sit at. And now if we hit play, we're looking for it. Ah. Okay. So we bounced off of it. That means that um, I forgot to <clears throat> change a couple things that we need to change. Okay. And... That has to do with the collision. So we're going to go back into our blueprint. Okay. 
We're going to select our coin. And we're going to go down to collision presets. So down here where the collision is. And we're going to have no collision on the coin itself. Okay. On the sphere collision. Uh, can character step on? It probably doesn't really matter, but I'm going to change that to no. Um, I don't think that really matters all that much. And um, it should be overlap dynamic. So if I hit the down arrow, all of these should be preset. Those are. All right, so let's go ahead and compile it and save it. And try again. And hopefully if things worked right this time, we'll go right through it. All right, we went through it. Okay, so now in order to uh, make more of these, you can just hold the Alt button and drag out, and you can move them wherever you need them to go. All right, so that's it for this uh, video. We've got our coin rotation set up. Um, I'm a little bit over on time, but I uh, wanted to make sure we were nice and clear and concise on some of the stuff we got here. If you liked what you saw, um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave them down in the comments. I will get back to you. Maybe not right away, but I will get back to you. Thanks again. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.